The iPhone 15 Pro Max revolutionized how you can use your iPhone with the new action button. You can now cycle between different home screens and it'll even control your Apple Watch. You can bring up a menu that gives you a bunch of different controls. You can even change the use of that button based on the orientation of your screen. I'm gonna show you why that button is so underrated and why you should actually take it a step further than the standard actions that Apple gives you. I'll show you all the uses from basic to advanced, and then we'll go into how to build them easily for yourself. And that's without needing to know an advanced understanding of coding or the shortcuts app. The action button replaces the mute switch on previous iPhones. So now with a slightly delayed long press, you can do exactly the same thing really. But now you have the option to customize with a bunch of different actions like switch between silent and ring for calls, toggle one single focus mode like do not disturb and then back, open the camera app to photo or video mode, you can now turn on and off the flashlight and with haptics, it actually makes it kind of fun. You can automatically start a voice memo or open the magnifier to zoom in on objects, set a shortcut to open any app on your phone or the advanced options we'll get to, an accessibility shortcut like Apple Watch mirroring or no action at all. But then why would you be watching this video? So these options satisfy most people who are picking up this phone. Set it to control your device in the way that works best for you, but I really feel like they just scratch the surface. For instance, the focus option just sets one focus on or off. It doesn't provide the option to change between multiple focus modes or a list of them. So I fix that. First, let's say you want to cycle between different focus modes. This is really helpful when you have different home screens set up for different focuses. Plus it integrates with your Apple Watch and your other Apple devices as well. So with a press, it changes my home screen from personal, press it again, and rather than turning it off, it switches to the next work focus. Press it again and it'll go to fitness, which can automatically change for my Apple Watch too. And then again for my Vitrotech home screens. And then again to shut off focus mode and bring it back to normal. I mean, you can see that this is so much better than just having a mute switch that it had before, just completely changes the way that you can use your phone. To set this up, use the shortcuts app and create a new shortcut. Find the get current focus action, and then we're gonna make an if statement saying, if the current focus does not have a value, or in other words, if it is not turned on, then turn a specific focus mode on. Next, we'll move on to the otherwise step and drag in another if statement to say, if the focus name is, then whatever the name of your focus was from the last step, turn the next focus on. And you basically keep doing that until you've added every focus mode that you want to use. And then on the last step, we say, turn current focus off. Now, if this is set up correctly, every time you use the shortcut, it's gonna cycle between your focus modes. This next shortcut allows you to build a menu. So with the press of a button, you can choose what you want the action button to do. Super handy if you don't wanna to commit to one standard action and you wanna be able to choose every time you hit the button. This one doesn't require any modification, so you can just download it here with the link. But if you wanna customize it, you can click add new item and then scroll down to the section it just created and find the action you want. This will simply add it to the menu the next time that you press it. Now the next one is the most useful in my opinion because it gives you multiple uses for the action button. So my phone realizes when it's in portrait, toggle silent mode. When I turn it to the right, take a photo, but then when I turn it to the left, take a video. So it understands the orientation of the device and then it does whatever command you set. For this one, we're gonna download a free app called Actions, which just gives you more advanced options and shortcuts. Next, you can use the shortcut template I provided to get started. This says, get the device orientation. Then if the orientation is landscape right, this section is where you're going to change it to whatever you wanna do. For example, I could change this to say, open a specific app. Otherwise, if the device is in portrait mode, select our action. And you even have the other options here, like if the phone is upside down, if the phone is face up or face down, and the sky's the limit for what you can actually assign. So you can see here now that I've set it up, I can simply change the orientation of my phone. And no matter which way I do it, it's gonna understand that and then choose whatever shortcut that I assign to it. Let me know in the comments if you have questions about this one, but so far it is my favorite shortcut that I'm using. Also, let me know if you chose different actions than I did, and if so, which ones? Stay tuned for so much more iOS 17 and iPhone 15 Pro Max content that's coming later this week. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.